Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Thank you for coming. Uh, all is welcome. And I'm really glad you came. Now, today, I want to work on the letter D. Letter D, the name. Name is D. Sounds like D, D, D. And we're going to make a D, D donut. Okay. Hoy vamos a practicar la letra D. D, D, D. Se llama D y suena D, D, D como dona. Así es que vamos a hacer una dona. Para sus estudiantes que ya van a estar en las vacaciones de spring break, a lo mejor esto es algo que pueden hacer. For all you guys that are going to have your spring break, uh, maybe you, have, you can have your kids do something like this. It's fun. I like it. Okay, so we're going to get a paper plate. We're going to need a paper plate. And we're going to need scissors. And we're going to need some markers. Okay, so here we go. First thing I'm going to do, love these paper plates. Why do I like these paper plates? Uh, because they already have the circle shape going. We can do a lot with that. Um, the sturdiness of the paper plate is really good. So it's in between tag paper and construction paper. So it's really good. And it's white. So any color you can use. Awesome. Love it. I'm going to try to stay within five minutes. All right, here we go. So we're going to fold it and we're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Vamos a doblarlo y vamos a presionarle aquí. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut this little circle, this indentation right here. Vamos a cortarle aquí en este círculo que ya está ahí por el plato. We're going to cut that little circle out. Of course, I'm going to save it because we can use it for other things. So, ooh, a circle to work with? You kidding me? Lots of stuff. All right, I'm just going to trace where I'm going to cut. And I'm going to use this orange just because you can use whatever color. All right. Do, 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 do. Does it have to be perfect? No. And I don't know. You know, I, 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 um, for all you OCD fans out there, all your OCD friends out there, I mean, I really admire you. I love how you need to have everything perfect. I don't, and I'm okay with it. And I hope you're okay with it, you. But if you need to have it perfect, then you do it perfect by all means, okay? I don't, and I'm good with this. All right. So we're going to cut into that circle. Vamos a cortar aquí en la indención que ya tiene el papel, de, el plato de papel. Okay, and now I've got this lovely circle that I'm going to make fabulous things when I'm sure. So I'm going to put it away. All right. So now I've got pretty much, I've already got my donut. Ahora sí, ya tengo mi donut, la letra D. Letter D, donut. Letra D, donut. Okay. First thing I want to do is write the uppercase D and the lowercase D. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to reuse my orange. Okay. So on top, I'm going to put the uppercase D and lowercase D and the word donut. And on the bottom, I'm going to write the uppercase D and the lowercase D and the word dona in Spanish. So on top, I'm putting the English word for donut. And on the bottom, I'm putting the Spanish word for donut. Arriba, voy a poner la mayúscula y la minúscula para D. Y voy a poner la palabra donut en inglés. Y abajo, voy a poner la mayúscula y minúscula de la D. Y deletrear la palabra dona en español. Okay? So, we've got two birds, one stone. English and Spanish. Here we go. Um, and this... Es lo, lo redondito va a ser el donut de afuera. The rounded part is going to be our outside of our donut. So we're going to write it on the back, which is the indented part. Lo vamos a escribir atrás donde está uh, para adentro, ¿ok? Para los de habla español, no soy uh, de español original. Yo nada más sé inglés, pero vivo cerca de, uh, de México. Como unos cinco minutos, así es que se habla mucho el español aquí. Así es que no tengo formalmente el español estudiado como nadie de aquí. Estudia, no, los, no es requisito 
hablar español o estudiar el español nada más lo que aprendemos solos okay so just uh, i'm just letting my spanish uh speaking friends know that um if they think that we don't know any spanish we really don't it's not required it's not required to learn any other language besides english so if we do not speak it correctly it's because we have no formal education okay so not an excuse just a fact Okay, so I'm writing the uppercase and lowercase d, okay, uppercase and lowercase d. I'm going to write the word donut, okay, let me put it this way, do you, have, do you can see it, d, o, n, u, t, and I've got donut. All right, and like this, this is the back part. On the bottom, I'm going to write the uppercase D. Y abajo voy a deletrear la mayúscula de. Mayúscula. Minúscula. Minúscula. Y la palabra dona de. O. N. Dona, dona. All right, so now I've got the word donut in English y la palabra dona en español aquí. And now all we have to do is decorate. All right, let's see. Oh, I already went over by five minutes. All right, so basically what we're going to do is just we're going to color it. Uh, I'm going to use, let's see, I had pink icing, uh, just colored it uh, with wavy lines around here to kind of make it look like icing. I used yellow on the edges to color it after that to make it look like a donut and then I put icing I mean I look put little sprinkles okay so use uh, lo, lo decoré afuera como betún verdad por arriba y luego lo amarillo como que parezca dona y luego nomás unas cuantas uh, dulcitos que pongo por arriba y ya Woo! all right I overdid it I hope you liked it enjoyed it de dona de donut there you go de donut de dona oh. hope you enjoyed it bye